Hi guys, my name's Tom, or as you might know me, Tomahawk, and this is a little vlog today on alopecia awareness. As you know, the month of September is alopecia awareness month, and I have trying to push it as much as I can. Me and fellow alopecians across the world, this is our month where we try and really push about what alopecia is and how it affects people and generally spreading awareness out there. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself. You might already know this, but if you're new, then this is for you. Uh, I'm Tom, I'm 26. I have alopecia universalis, it's a mouthful even to say. Uh, I've had it for about nine years now. Um, it started off with Ariata, and then it just all went. Um, so that wasn't great. Ever since I've had my alopecia, I've tried to get myself, not get myself out of it, I've tried, you know, raising, trying to raise awareness. Um, a couple of years ago, when I first started using social media, such so like Twitter and Instagram, uh, I connected with quite a few alopecians across the world, used to speak about it, you know, raising awareness, like talking about, you know, all the hang ups and the issues and, you know, treatments, whatever. Um, and then I started doing YouTube and that's where probably a lot of you guys will know me from. Um, and I've always been, I've always felt like I've been quite open and honest about it. It's something that I've never really, I've never really tried to hide um, on here anyway. Real life is a different story, but on here I've always tried to, you know, let you guys know who I am, what I'm about kind of thing. So going back to this month. Uh, I've always tried to push the whole awareness thing because I think it's something that just has to be done. I've got to try and do my part. So this month um, I went to uh, an event called My Invention. Um, I was kind of forced, not forced, but I was given a slight little nudge um, from like one of my best friends, Nettie. She was like, you know, it's something you can kind of do. Uh, I have gone to so many gaming events. This is what I'm talking about now, going to Minecraft gaming events. Um, and if you don't know what those are, it's basically a huge convention where everyone meets up, fans of you know certain YouTubers, or if you're fans of the games, you all meet up. Um, I've always done events with my hat on. My hat is kind of like my shield, which sounds really silly, but the only way I can try and make it, you know, universal to everyone else. Imagine if you're if if you're a lass now, or a girl, whatever you want to call it, you wear makeup to make yourself. You know to sort of give yourself that you know feel good about yourself you put it on to you know that's kind of like your shield i think now correct me if i'm wrong i'm not trying to offend anyone but that's my general assumption what i think it is so that's kind of like what it is for me when i wear a hat or anything else a hood it's my protection it's protecting me against people saying something to me or or being nasty not that everyone is it's just kind of like my mindset like it's my protection. If you can't see it, you're not going to ask about it. Because, like, if you were to look at me now, minus all all this bit back here, you wouldn't actually realise that I've got no eyebrows, no eyelashes. I've got nothing. Okay. So, <laughs> I went to my mansion and I did it without a hat on. And it was honestly the most crazy situation ever because... I was getting massive panic attacks about it for a long time. I was so worried about it, thinking, oh my God, there's going to be, you know, thousands of people there looking at me, staring at me. There's going to be loads of young kids just like looking at me, just like, mommy, why is that guy bald? And stuff like that. Just like all that just at once just absolutely terrified me. And I just thought, I'm absolutely nuts. I must be absolutely crazy to do this. Like, I, when I first lost my hair, I would not take my hat off in front of my parents or my brother. I would hide it. I would just keep it all a secret. When I, when I lost my hair, uh, I used to wear a hat at work, which you're not allowed to do. I used to wear a little beanie. I used to look like the guy Sid off of, um, I've forgotten the name of it. It'll come, it'll come back to me. Anyway, I used to wear a little beanie and I wasn't allowed and I'd get customers coming in like looking at me like, what, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a hat for? When I was at college, when I was losing it, I lost one eyebrow at once, and I had a hat on all the time, like even like playing sports and stuff, where you're not allowed to. I was covering it up all the time, and even stuff like, you know, getting into a new relationship. If I was if I was dating someone, I'd always keep my hat on. I never take my hat off in front of them, not unless I felt extremely comfortable. And this was me taking my hat off. And I think it was about. 7,000 people I was going to take my hat off and just be like, yep, this is me, I'm Tom, by the way, check the do. So, yeah, it was t 
terrifying. And I got in there on the morning and all my friends were like there and they were supporting me, but it's just kind of like, it's all right people supporting you and I appreciate it and I love them all for it. But it's me kind of in the day, it's gotta be like, right, you know, hood down, get on with it. And it's the best thing I've ever done because it's shown myself that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was. I thought I was gonna get in there and get in a massive panic and just end up in a, in a, on a ball on the floor being like, what am I doing? What am I doing? But I managed it. I saw all the girls from LP's charity. I thought, there, there, you know what I mean? I can do this, I can do this. And I just wanna thank all you guys for supporting me. It was, it was a really difficult, <laughs> really difficult time, but I'm glad I did it. And I'm not saying I'm gonna go to every event now with my heart off. <laughs> But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try do it a bit more. And it's a great thing about like this month. Like it, it's kind of like an extra boost for everyone. Bella Peace to just kind of like do anything. Like even if it's like taking your wig off in public or telling someone close to you like what's actually happening or meeting someone who's you know just started with their alopecia and they don't know to turn to and you can uh, talk to them about it and tell them that you know it'll be all right like you're not the only one there is like there is so many people out there in the world with it and you're not the only one so i'm going to show you a tiny little bit of footage of my invention um of me basically stood on a stage with a camera <laughs> So you can get kind of an idea of the scale of it. So man. I'm blinded. This is I'm doing a sign in and um oh, on YouTube. Say hi mom. So yeah, we're still, we're still deciding. I'm just gonna do a spin. I'm just gonna do a spin. Spin, spin. Okay, I'm dizzy now, I'll stop. Okay, so, uh, we're still doing a meeting. We're gonna do a Q&A <laughs> later on. And um, yeah. So yeah, that was my invention. It was crazy, I loved it. Um, and I'm just gonna wrap it up because I think I've kind of said everything I needed to say. Um, if you, if anyone out there has alopecia and would like to speak to me about it, I am, I've got all the time in the world for you. I, I've, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I, I'm very busy, but I'll always make time for them people because I know what it's like. And when I first started, there was no one there for me, and <laughs> I'm not well enough. I'm fine, but now there is, and um, yeah, thank you for watching.